You're watching the TC MMA podcast. It's time to jump into UFC 306. Let's get into the first fight of the night. And this one is going to be exciting because it's been pushed back uh, a few times. So that might have been the last one. But nonetheless, we do get to see Raul Rosas Jr. in the octagon again. Mexican heritage. As far as this big card, you can have Mexicans up and down this card. It's just going to be a great night for Mexico. And uh, it starts out quickly here, so let's get to it. Raul Rosas Jr., right now the 19-year-old phenom, was once the 17-year-old phenom. Now he's 19. But let's get into that fight first. In the Bantamweight division at UFC 306, this is going to be a crowd pleaser for sure. You got Raul Rosas Jr., the young, I think he's 19, year, 19 years old still, phenom. Taking on Aori Kalang. So a lot of anticipation for this one. Rosas Jr. 9 and 1. Kalang 25 and 10. This is Mexico versus China. Rosas, two inches taller, 5'9. Yeah, he's just 19. It's crazy to see. Kalang 31. Right in the prime. Kalang two inch reach advantage. He stands right handed. Rosas Jr. is a switch dance fighter. Landing just 1.1 significant strikes per minute right now. Not very good to 5.3 for Kalang. So you know where Kalang is going to want to go. But Rosas can land like a takedown and a half per round. Kalang lands like one every other round. But the takedown defense for Kalang is in the 50s, like 53%. That's not going to cut it. Raul Rosas Jr. hasn't even had to really defend. Uh, well, he was taken down once, and he failed to stop it. So... Takedown defense is zero, but that doesn't really matter. It's just one. In his last fight, he beat Ricky Tertius with four takedowns, submitted him. Beat Terrence Mitchell by KO. So he's got a bit the ability to finish you in both ways. His only loss to Chris, was to uh, Christian Rodriguez. Did not look good um, in that fight. He trailed 29-2. to two. Just two significant strikes in that fight. He was just controlled by the older Rodriguez, more experienced. Kalang. Coming off the uh, no contest of Daniel Marcos, so wipe that clean. Beat Johnny Munoz by decision, was KO'd by Iman Zahabi. And before that, he won a, a pair of fights against Jay Perrin and Cameron Ells. But listen, there's going to be a lot of hype around this fight. The crowd's going to go crazy for Rosas Jr. He's going to deliver. The guy is going to, as good as he already, as he already is, he's just going to get better and better and better. And they learned something about the Christian Rodriguez matchup. Give this guy some softballs. And uh, although Kalane can strike... Rosas Jr. should be able to dominate him if he wants to take him to the ground and finish him. That'll work in this fight, and uh, he may need to utilize that. Even though he's got to get the significant strikes per minute up, right now you got to win, and he's going to win this thing on the ground, in my opinion. To move to 10 and 1, Bantamweight Division, UFC 306. Yeah, so let's not forget about Rosas Jr., right? I mean, the, the guy came in with all this hype. He did lose one to Christian Rodriguez, but he's young. He's only going to get better. You're looking. I mean, the guy's 19 years old. We talk about guys hitting 30 all the time. He's got 11 years. Well, if you think 27 is the prime, 27 to 33, right? He's got eight years before he even hits the prime. The beginning of the, I mean, it's just, so the one loss doesn't even matter. What matters is that he, he continues to fight the right guys. You know, give him two to four years from now before you even put him uh, in line for a title. Like, he should be fighting for the title when he's 23 to 25. So give him fights right now that he can win, and this is one of them. Now, Kalang's no slouch, but you know, you know I'm going with Raul Rosas Jr. We love the guy, and we know the future and uh, what he's capable of to dictate his own path. So look for him to win. He's going to fight. Wait. He's going to fight. Wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight a call, UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Saying, step up. Step up, step up. Wanna fight? Huh? Hold up. Hold up. Think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin. Reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded.